Hi guys, Wedgerox here from Rocket League Mods. So today's tutorial is going to be about putting the Rocket League classes into your UDK game and setting up your project to match. Okay, so first off you need to download the zip file in the description. This contains all the classes that have been extracted so far. So once you've downloaded that, you need to go into your downloads folder and find the zip file, copy it, and put it into your UDK game file folder. So, development, SRC, and then you paste the zip folder in here, extract it, and now you need to rename it to be TA game, and that's all we need to do in here, so you can delete the zip file. So that's the first step, that tells UDK that it's got some stuff, new stuff basically. Then you have to tell the game that it should look for the new stuff. So to do that we go to the config file, the default engine, and we look for this line here, editor engine. So the plus means you have an additional editor package. There's one already called custom game, so we're going to simply copy that paste it here and rename custom game to TA game because that's what we called the folder. So you save that, you exit, and then that's all you need to do for adding the scripts. Now when you open up your editor, it should give you a pop-up. Scripts are outdated, would you like to rebuild them? Yes I would. This tells the uh, UDK to make a new file that basically compiles everything and tells it what the classes are. So now that it's done, you just know it's done because it has success and then exit and then open up UDK again and you're presented with a different startup tip that I have so I don't have startup tips anymore so I've disabled them you can do that too so if you go to this search bar oh sorry you'll be open with this so this is the content browser this is like everything that you have in your game will be found somewhere in here so if you go into actor classes and type in player start, you should see two types, the UDK team player start and player start underscore TA. Underscore TA is the ending prefix that all the all these should have, all the classes that you just inputted should have. So if not, then it will be TA at the start. And the problem with that is saying TA at the start, you'll get all this other stuff as well. So you can then exit out of this and you're presented with this map or you'll be presented with a window that says choose a map this is just the midday lighting map I believe so to set up this map to be used in the modding scene I suppose you have to go into view and then world properties now in the search bar type in kill so inside here there's something called kill Z so the kill Z um, variable decides what level on the map, so going up and down, you will have to be to be automatically killed by your game. So it's set to zero at the moment, so this is the base, so this part. If you jump below here, you'll die. So the problem with this is that in Rocket League you're spawned below this. So if you try and run your map just like this, you're going to die as soon as you spawn. So to get around this, you just simply make it negative um, some amount so 9000 is a bit too much so I'm just gonna go 3000 ah, I'll go 5 just in case right so that's the kill Z set that's all you have to do for that so now when you spawn you won't die straight away but when you spawn you will spawn below the platform so the next thing we do is we get rid of this and you can also get rid of this cube here and we create a cylinder so you see how it changed the red thing here this is just a it's like a template so this is just saying this is what the shape will be when you make something with it so if you right click the cylinder you'll be able to bring up these options and I'm gonna make mine uh, 4096 I think that's a wrong one so 512 again, and outer radius 4096. So, 
this is now what I would be spawning on, but it's in the wrong spot, so I have to move it down, down, down. There we go, this should be far enough, I believe. I'll move it down a bit, just in case. Alright, so, at the moment, this doesn't actually make anything. You have to tell it to put something in this spot. So first, I'll just say, hey, look, you now have something to look at. There you go, that's great. But you still move through it, so you give it a blocking volume. Blocking volume meaning it blocks whatever hits into it. So that's the start. And then you have to make sure that you can see this. If you click on this big yellow box thing, this is called a light mass importance volume. It's a, basically a lot of big words that means anything in here will have lighting on it. So if you press space, you'll go into the rotation mode. Space again will bring you onto scale. Scale it up. Now anything in here will have lighting on it. There you go. And this is your light, this one. Here we go. So if you move this up and down, so you can kind of see it if I click off of it again. Ah, here. You can see the tiny little thing in the middle of the screen. That's your light. So this here is the fog. Um, yeah, so when the game starts, this is your start position here. You want to have this move down towards where you're going to start spawning onto. So because if you don't do this, it'll throw an error. So here we have my start. And this is my platform, so I'm going to move down a bit, close to the platform, a bit closer. There we go. So now you can see that it's very close to the platform. And that's all we have to do to set this up. So this should spawn a ball around about up here, and it should spawn a car around down somewhere. Right? So if I first off go to build, build all, what build all means do sorry, does is that it just builds the whole level basically so it just chucks it all together make sure that the map knows what to do with it and then you go to file save all and give it a name I'll call mine tutorial.udk right so that's all done now I just have to take that map and put it into my mods folder so I've got to open up my mods folder this is my mods folder so inside your you find your your Steam, so Steam games is what my Steam is. Steam apps, common. Look for your Rocket League. Here we go. TA game, just like the package we just made. The cooked PC console, and you make a folder called Mods. Go into that folder, and then you add in your game. So I saved my game here as tutorial.udk. I simply copy it paste it into there and then I have to change the extension to UPK and now when I run the Rocket League map loader which you can get off Reddit and you give it the right di directories and stuff I click down here and I should see my tutorial map tutorial.upk I click that I click load and now when I run Rocket League it should load this map If it doesn't load the map, then it's something to do with the Rocket League map loader, and it might be that you have the wrong directories. If you can't find the directory, you might be looking at the wrong one again. So here we go. Interestingly enough, I pretty much spawned in exactly the right spot. That was pretty cool. I think I just found the perfect place to spawn. So you have your ball spawned automatically, and we have the map spawned automatically. So jump, pew, up, 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 up. And I'm bad, so I missed it. Bonk. There you go. So you see how the ball was standing at the top. If you reset the ball, it will start falling. Still not sure why that happens. But, yeah. That's all good. So if you see, when I hit the ball off the map, it will go down, 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 down. And then it will explode. There we go. I died as well. There we go. Perfect. Then if you press reset, you'll start up again and the ball will start falling. So that's all to get the map started inside. I have other tutorials on setting other stuff up, but that's it for now. Thanks.